Hey guys, it's great to see you. So today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial how to use a really cool tool called DLibrary that will enable you to download and install custom libraries on Dirt 2. All the tools and mods I'm using in this video are in the description below so do check out those links and today I'm going to be installing this cool Mitsubishi Evo 6 library and this Lancia Stratos. If you are new to the channel it's great to see you and do check out the rest of the videos on the channel where I cover lots of different sim racing especially a set of Corsa. So if you're looking for mods, guides and tutorials you're in the right place. Okay then guys let's jump right in. The first thing to do then is to follow the link in the description to this race department D library. This is version 2.1.2. As you can see the last update was 2019 but this works perfectly from what I have seen and it's a very simple tool to use so I'm just going to talk you through step by step how to download, install and how to run this cool mod. So once we've downloaded it through race department in the normal way I've just dragged the file onto the desktop here. If you double click it, it's a simple WinRAR that you can extract. So we're just going to extract that to the desktop. Once we've extracted those files, I'll just drag the folder over just to keep it tidy because we are going to open the program up in a moment. Double clicking on this folder, you'll see there's an executable in there, a readme and a couple of other small files. Now the readme, I would advise that you do actually read it um, and just work your way through there. But what I'm going to show you in this video today is the basic tutorial step by step on how to install these libraries, how to get them up and running and how to choose them in game. But the readme file is obviously very useful too. So I'll let you do that in your own time. So let's run the main D library program. Just double clicking on it, the first thing it's going to do is ask you where your dirt folder is. So this is compatible with a number of games but what I'm wanting to do here is point it to Dirt Rally 2. So Dirt Rally 2 for me is actually on my PC under my games directory here and then because it's a Steam game for me it's under the Steam library. So it's Steam library, common and then Dirt 2. So you don't need to go any further than that, just on Dirt 2 and straight away it comes up with the program now. So that's actually running. So it has actually found the executable in Dirt Rally 2 folder. That's really important because if you try and put it onto a different folder, it will actually come up with an error message. Just to show you what that error message might look like if you do choose the wrong folder, if I actually click on this folder icon here, I'm actually saying I want to change where this folder is. So if I go into Dirt Rally 2 and choose the car folder for instance, which I know is the wrong one, it will come up with an error message there. So you can't really get this bit wrong, the program will tell you if it can't find the right Dirt 2 executable. So that's all ready to go now and we're ready to start putting our libraries in there. Now that we've got the main program up and running, in this next section I've tidied my desktop up a little bit and I've downloaded the Lancia Stratos. This is the one in the link in the description below. So what I'm going to do is just double click that on my desktop and you can see that it's got a file in there, a folder in there, so I'm just going to extract it. So we just need to take it out of the WinRAR. And then this is the folder that we're actually going to put into our new library folder. To do this I've actually made a shortcut link on my desktop that takes me into the Dirt 2 folder so I don't have to go through all those um, different file structures there. So this is the main Dirt 2 Rally folder here and as you can see I've actually created a folder called Downloaded Libraries. And you can see that that's actually positioned in the Dirt 2 folder there. So I've got nothing in there at the moment so what we need to do is, is take this folder full of this information and we need to either drag it in there or on this occasion I'll just cut it and I'll just paste it in. Either one will actually work. Now that that's in there we now need the program to actually recognize that we've actually put that in there and to read it so we can start to manipulate the libraries on the game. Now that we have the library in the right folder even though the path name here is correct and we can check that here you can see that that's in the right place there it's still not come up on the right hand pane. This is because it needs to be refreshed. Now there's two ways that you can refresh it. 
the first way is to click on the little icon in the corner there, the closed folder, and to choose the download libraries piece again. So that might seem counterintuitive, but all it's doing is just refreshing the data that's in that folder. As you can see, if I went into cars, there's nothing in there, so make sure you put it on the right one. And the downloaded libraries, you can see I've got the Lancia Stratos in there now. So if I click on OK, that will pop up on the right hand side. So now we have our first library being recognized by the program. The other option is to click the little refresh button when you drop the libraries into the folder and that will also bring them up on the right hand side. Now that we've got a library, we need to choose where we're gonna put it. So on this particular library on the Lancia Stratos, it's given me two positions. Now the picture you can see that's changing, this Stratos here, is the in-game library for that actual car. So what we're gonna choose, we're gonna choose library two and I'm gonna say I want to replace it with this library. Now the picture won't actually change in the game sometimes, but the library has actually changed when you run the game and I'll show you how that works. You can see now on the left hand pane, that library is installed. The beauty about this program though, is that none of the original libraries are actually damaged. So they're still there in the original Dirt 2 Rally game. So if I delete this one and then add it again, it's not changed any of the standard in-game Dirt Rally 2 um, libraries. All we're doing is we're just replacing one of them temporarily. So I've just replaced that again. So you can delete them and reinstall them as much as you want. Now that we've installed one, let's just do another one and I'm gonna do the Evo 6 here that was at the beginning of the video and just show you again how this works. So I've downloaded the raw file and I've extracted the raw file. So that gives me the folder on the desktop here. I'll just move this over here again, just to be neat. And what we need to do is again, put that folder into the downloaded library folder in the Dirt 2 Rally main directory. This is the one that we created earlier. So you can put multiple libraries in here and that's really important. All these folder structures all maintain themselves so you don't need to worry about how many you've put in here. You can actually have a number of libraries in here and only select one or two for the actual main game. Now remember, we haven't refreshed it at the moment. We've still only got one on each, but if we press the refresh button here, the other one, the Mitsubishi will actually come up. Now on this Mitsubishi library, it gives you the before and the after version of that as well. So the one on the left that I'm clicking here, that is the one that's in game and the one we're gonna replace. The one on the right is the cool Evo 6 one that we're gonna replace it with. So we have got the option here again to choose whichever library we want to replace. And I think what I'm gonna do is replace the red car here, this red library with the Tommy one. So that's the one I'm gonna install and I click okay and that will install. And you can see there you've got two on the right hand pane that you've actually got downloaded in, in your downloaded libraries folder. And on the left hand side, you've got the two that you've installed. To test these out then, I've started the game normally and I'm just gonna create a custom championship. Now, this is the Lancia Stratos here that I'm gonna pick. And as you can see, none of these libraries match the one that we've installed. But if you remember, it was actually library two that we installed it on. So that is this white and black library here. So if I click on that one and click on select and click on select again, there you go, there you have it. And that library looks absolutely fantastic. So let's take a look at it in game. Starts 100 through dip and flat right of a crest, 80, four left of a crest. I'm sure you'll all agree this is a great library mod and actually even close up right at the beginning of the stage, it looks really cool. So that is the Lancia Stratos. Let's have a look then at the Evo 6 in action. So again, to test the Evo 6 out, I've just created a custom championship and you can see all the different libraries here. So let's just cycle through these libraries. And as you can see, none of these libraries is the one that we actually installed. But if you remember, we actually installed it on library version one, which is this version here, this red version. And that's the one that we're gonna select and try in game. So let's check that out. Again, on the close-up shots of these cars, before it gets dirty in the rain, this looks absolutely fantastic. A great model. Let's see how it looks racing around this stage. Keep middle of a jump, 100. 
I think this model looks really good and really changes the feel of the car, looks great on the replays and close up. So that is your step by step guide to installing custom libraries. Remember guys, do read the instructions and this only installs PSSG files, not the NEFS files. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. And do remember if you're new here, check out the rest of the channel for lots of other sim racing videos and guides and tutorials. See you soon guys.